All right, what's up folks? It is officially go time. I'm pretty excited. I'm about to get out and fish another spot near my house. Um, it's one I've already fished before, but I haven't fished it since the weather started to turn and I'm gonna try some stuff. The water's a little farther down, so I gotta try some different stuff. Um, I, I apologize for how I look, but uh, you know, these are real videos. I'm coming straight from work and just getting in my fishing time where I can, so. Um, Let's just get cracking. I don't have a lot of time. All right. I've only got about an hour or so, so I'm gonna work this bank pretty quick. I'm starting off with a square bill crank. I'm gonna work my way on down back behind me. Deer tracks. Fairly fresh. They were probably out here this morning or, or something. Uh, I haven't fished over here since the water got this low. I did catch a spotted bass over here not too terribly long ago. But I'm gonna try this square bill crank. If it's too shallow or it's getting too hung up or I'm just not getting any action, <clears throat> I'll switch it up to this spinner bait. And then uh, if that doesn't work, I may try a, uh, a Texas rig just until it's time to go. But I feel like this thing should at least get some action if there's anything over here. It's pretty shallow. It's a pretty weedy area as well, so this may end up just getting hung up too much. It doesn't float, I don't think. No, it does. So I could totally do that pause and let it float up if I'm hitting the bottom. Slow it down a little bit. It won't hit the bottom so much also. That sun's pretty brutal. I might go down to the other end and work back this way, just so it's not right in my face. Since it really doesn't make a difference which way I work it. snagged. That's also a real possibility around here. So I'm not really sure what all is on the bottom. That sucks. It's my only square bill crank. But am I hung on somebody else's line? Shit. I was. Hung on someone else's line. I'm about out of line on this rod too. I can't keep breaking off. Well, this is the other bait I was gonna try anyway, so let's just go for it. Really looking forward to all this stuff being back underwater again. That was all great structure for fish. Should have brought my stuff with me over here.
All right, so I've called a couple of audibles. I'm going with the Texas Trick Bandito Bug for a little bit. Work my way around as much of these coves as I can before I run out of time for the day. I apologize if you can hear the uh, the rattling in my uh, in my backpack. I've got both my other rods in my backpack right now, so they may rattle a little bit. This reel needs some oil. I mean, I'm totally freaking blind casting right now. I don't know where anything is going to be. I haven't seen any bait moving or anything. So. That's a fish. Oh, that's a good fish. Whoo. Yes, sir. He's not quite ready yet, I don't think. Little bank flippage. That is a solid fish right there, buddy. Heck yeah. And put my bag down. Get this hook out of his mouth right quick. First fish on a Guggen bait. <clears throat> Been wanting to make this happen for a while now. Boy, he choked it too. Okay, well, good thing that was still rolling. Let's make sure we get a good release on this bad boy. There he goes. Bye-bye. Well, that was a solid fish. All right. Let's keep going. That was, what, the second cast today with a bandito bug? I really do need to get a scale because I'd like to weigh some of these fish. I haven't weighed one of my catches since I was, like, I don't know, real young. Sometime a long time ago. But yeah, that was pretty sweet. Fix my bug up if I can. got this thing pretty tangled but I sure got it out let's get another one if we can that was sweet heck yeah I mean he was no monster he's probably two pounds though
so yeah that was a prime example of uh, I saw the line moving which is why this might not be that great of a cast I'm, in, I'm looking right into the glare so it's hard to see where my line goes in the water Oh snap. <laughs> My square bill crankbait washed up on the shore. So there's pros and cons to this water going up and down. It does mean that you have access to walk in a whole lot more bank. That was a really good fish. I was happy to get that guy. He was definitely flexing those teeth, man. He got my thumb pretty good. I'm gonna go this way. This is the same way I came in, but it's the way I'm going out. So out there at the end of this, you can kind of see it probably, the beach out there, that's where I was fishing. And normally, the water would be, well you can see probably the, the brown line on the other side, how high the water would be. This would normally be deep water right here. All the way up, and it stops like right there, but it would normally go all the way back up to the end of this cut. So that's quite, quite a shock to the fish, I'm sure of it. It certainly is a shock to my fishing. So um, we're going to keep doing what we can, though. We certainly pulled one out today.